Hey, I'm Nathan from Harrison Audio, and this is 10 Mix Plus Tips You Didn't Know, Volume 3. So this tip is for muting and soloing on your selected track, and this is primarily on the mix page. So you just simply select the track, hit M for mute, S for solo, and it frees up your mouse to do other things like adjusting a threshold, going to an EQ and turning the knob there. Then you can just hit M for mute and S for solo. This tip shows the keyboard shortcuts to help show and hide the different elements within the channel strip. To see a list of these shortcuts, click on view within the menu. Then on the bottom, we have a list for the input, processors, gate, comp, EQ, sends, and immersive panning. So the main ones I use is Shift E to show the EQ, Shift G to show the gate, and Shift C to show the compressor. This next tip is all about VCA faders. And this is one single fader that can control multiple different groups of tracks within your session. So for example, I want to make a group out of these electric guitar tracks. And then let's make a group out of the acoustic instruments here. Okay, now what we can do is actually right click on the group header and we can assign a group to a VCA. You wanna click on new. Now you see there's a new VCA fader for that group. I can do the same thing for the acoustic guitar group. Right click, assign group to VCA, choose the same VCA as I chose before and now the electric channels and the acoustic channels are all being controlled by this one VCA fader. Okay, this next tip is assigning hardware outputs. So we want to go to Window, Audio Connections, and here's our Audio Connections Manager. So for example, you may want to send all your tracks out to a console instead of mixing in the box. So to do this, our source is going to be the tracks and our destination is going to be the hardware. Then you can start clicking to add your dots for each track, or you can draw a straight line the best you can <laughs> to connect all the dots to your hardware. And now when you make a new session, choose that template and all your hardware outputs are ready to go. This next tip is renaming your audio inputs on the record page. This is helpful if you have a consistent setup in your studio and you're always keeping the same connections. So for example, my microphone is always plugged into the channel 16. So I can click on that, rename it vocal, hit okay. And then in the input section of your channel strip, you can go down and find vocal very easily. This tip is all about normalized settings in your export window. I use this feature all the time when I want to hit a certain loudness target. So clicking on session in the main menu, go down to export, export to audio file. And now you can see we have different formats to choose from. So I've chosen the B-Wave 24-bit, but I may want to edit this. So we'll click on edit. And you can see that the pre-process, you can either have normalize on or off. So to hit my loudness goal of negative 14 dBFS, which is what Spotify requires for their audio upload, I just type in negative 14. Now I typically limit my ceiling to negative one. And now, no matter how loud or soft my mix is, I know it's always gonna reach that negative 14 dBFS. This tip is a great way to hear the rest of your track when you're auditioning regions. So let me show you what the problem is. If we place our playhead here, then I select a region and hit A. Sunrise stripping down the darkness. We can actually hear that region and it solos the track and mutes everything else. But the problem is when you're trying to comp a vocal, you kind of want to hear how the vocal sits in the context of the rest of the music. And by selecting these different regions and hitting A, Sunrise. It is soloing the track, but you can't hear anything else. So a great workaround is this. Go to your mix page, 
show you your monitor bus, you can see up here in the corner we have a solo in place cut. It's currently set to infinity, which means we're not going to hear anything else. So we can easily raise that all the way up or to any other level that we want. And now we can hear the vocal in context with the music. So check this out. So now I can audition the first region. Sunrise stripping down the darkness. Okay, let's choose another one. Let's go to this next layer. Sunrise stripping down the and maybe the third layer. Sunrise stripping down the darkness. So you can see this is a great way to hear your auditioning in context. But just remember when you're done comping, you might want to go back and turn this knob back down so your soloing works as normal. Here's a great tip for placing your plugins anywhere you want within the signal chain. So for example, I want to add a legacy EQ. Usually you can just drag and drop wherever you want, but sometimes that can be hard to do. So first you want to choose your track. And then right click, you can see now there's an option to add at the top, add pre-fader, post-fader, and add at the end. Or you can also remove from favorites. So I'm going to add this to the top. We can also do this with multiple tracks. So I'm going to add an EQ at the top of all these tracks. Go over, right click on the legacy EQ, add to the top, and there they are. So whether you're working with one track or all your tracks in the session, this is a great way to add one plugin to all those tracks in a certain location. So this tip is going to show how to move between your different track headers and also move your playhead from the start and the end of different regions. So this is based around holding shift and control on your keyboard or shift and alt on a PC and using the up and down arrows. So I can select between different track headers. Let's say I want to go from the beginning of this region to the end really quick. So you want to select the track header to make sure that you're only selecting the regions on that track. And let's say my playhead is right here on bar eight. So if I want to go to the beginning of this region, I just hold down shift control, hit the left arrow key. And then if I want to go to the end of the region, use the right arrow key and just keep going over. So I can go to the different start and end points of each region. This tip is for showing and hiding the buses and VCAs on your mixer page. So if you've already created a VCA, then to show it, you just do shift and V. And then to show and hide the buses, you hit shift B. And this is great because the two keys are right next to each other. So you can just hold down shift and hit V and B at the same time to quickly show and hide the buses and the VCA. So there are 10 more mix bus tips that you can utilize in your next session. If you have any more ideas for some tips I can go over in a future video, leave those in the comments below. And until next time, I'm Nathan from Harrison Audio. I'll see you in the next video.